Hello everybody, San here, engineer, MBA, and investor. And in today's video, I wanted to talk about Editas. I want to talk about some latest news of Editas and how Editas is in deep trouble. But before we do that, before we jump into today's news, I do want to talk about what happened last night. I found it really, really funny. Um, funny, but also scary, but also so weird. Uh, because it has never happened to me in my life, obviously, and I've never heard of a single person happening in uh, going through what I went through last night. So basically, I was coming out of my elevator. So I don't know if you guys can see this picture. And obviously, this arrow here is drawn by me. It's an emoji. So obviously, this is an actual edit of the photo. But this is the elevator, right, of my the uh, condo facility I live in. And I actually dropped my keys in that gap of the hole. So wherever this arrow is pointing over here, uh, I drop my keys and I guess on Monday, I have to go see the management there and figure out who can get me access to the machine room of elevators. I happen to know a thing or two about elevators because I work in the industry of security, uh, specifically with elevators. I've worked with elevators as well. So I know there's a machine room. I know how they work. Uh, I just don't know who's going to give me access. So that's crazy. I don't think this has ever happened to anybody I know to. But based on the comments I got last night, some couple of folks there on Twitter is that this has happened to other people as well. So this is really interesting. Uh, I think people are just embarrassed to even say it, but I'm not embarrassed. I'm just going to say it, right? So that's really crazy. It's a really unfortunate way to end a beautiful Saturday evening. Um, I went to this, it's called Lifetime athletic lifetime athletic it's like a sports facility but it's like a huge building it's like a city you know there's a restaurant there's a couple of restaurants there's a spa there's sauna there's a basketball court there's a huge gym and honestly it was like the best workout session i've ever had I played basketball there uh, but then i went to the spa the sauna it was honestly the best best uh, workout session I've ever had, uh, but it is quite expensive in terms of m monthly membership. Uh, but that is beside the point. I am rambling on because it is a Sunday, so why not talk a little bit about uh, me? And of course, you're watching my channel, so if I want to talk a little bit about myself, then you know I'll do that. If you don't want to hear it, just forward it, or uh, or or I guess uh, well, it's a bit too late to forward the video because uh, I've already said it, right? So, uh, anyways, the point here is. Uh, there is Editas news that was published actually today. Uh, it actually not today. I read it today, but it was published a couple of days ago, and it was from Thursday's investor call from Editas. And this article in Endpoint News says Editas halts lead CRISPR program after efficacy data underwhelm. Editas will be putting a wrap on its lead clinical program after putting after reporting disappointing results from phase one, phase two trial. The biotech, one of the first ones to use CRISPR genome editing technology to develop new drugs, said Thursday morning that only three of the 14 patients responded to therapy, known as Edit 101. Executives will try to find a partner for the program, which will, which is designed to treat an inherited form of blindness called CEP290 meditated LCA10. The share fell about 18%. And of course, here they're talking about some of the data they got. And I never really went into this company's uh, program. I don't think I've ever, maybe I did in the early, early part of this channel when I was publishing videos, like back in March, 2021, maybe. Only about 300 people in the US suffer from this homozygous disease. So Editas decided to halt development and seek a partner. Seek a partner is basically another word of they need funding, so they need someone else to take on the risk. So yeah, in 2021, September, I remember this, two of the five patients showed in any sign of their vision improvement. Both were treated with Edit 101. This was in 2021. We're, of course, end of 2022 at this point. So this was a while ago. And obviously now they've altered their program of Edit 101. So a couple of notes here. First of all, this is the CEO of Editas, C, um, Editas and Gilmore O'Neill. I bet you by this time of next year, it'll be another picture here with another smile looking at his face. Um, just because of 
you know, the company's not doing well. I mean, when the company's not doing well, you need a revamp, you know, investors are going to want differences in the company and what better to start with, with change of leadership, right? So I think Editas is one of those companies in the CRISPR space that I want to give respect because they've done what most other companies didn't do right off the launch, which is actually go through clinical trials, right? They went to it, phase one, phase two, they tried something here, they clearly failed, and now they're basically reassessing the whole situation, looking for more for a partner, which, like I mentioned, is another word for more funding, take on more risk, uh, and basically dilute their risk there on their end as a company. I think there's the respect for Editas for you know going through phase one, phase two, trying something, failing, moving forward. But I think a lot of investors, including myself, have always stayed away from this company because they've always seemed to be that company that, you know, their their intentions are good, but they just don't have the leadership. They just don't have the personnel, I feel. It's just, it's just failure after failure. I mean, there's no support. There's no, you know, social media hype about this company. I mean, besides being one of the oldest companies in the space, basically being the first CRISPR public company, if I'm, if I'm correct there, uh, besides having that title, I mean, they don't really have much going on for them. I mean, they've had a huge, huge failure here. I mean, you know, putting your whole program, the only program you really have on halt and now looking for a partner is a huge red flag, right? And investors have choices, right? You know, we have CRISPR Therapeutics with a successful CRISPR program, in this case, Hexacell, that we're waiting for FDA approval there. We have NDLA with two successful CRISPR programs, being the first CRISPR company with two successful programs. Of course, they're doing with in vivo CRISPR Cas9. You have Caribou that has average above average data for CAR T cells. You have Verve, obviously, that was put on hold, so I'll just put them aside for a second. You have Beam Therapeutics there that obviously is doing something good with Beam 101, obviously licensing their technology out to a couple of companies, including Verve. You have you know, you even have like companies like uh, Graphile Bio. I mean, you know, as much as we want to, you know, talk negative on the company, at the end of the day, they've those patients are moving forward. Graphile Bio, uh, there's of course uh, Prime Medicine, which if you're into the whole latest technology, although, you know, it's going to be a while before they even develop any sort of data there for uh, humans, anyways. So there are choices for, for individuals and I think people are just looking at this company and saying, you know what, we'll stay away from it. I think I speak for a lot of people saying that a lot of people are staying away from this company because it's just, they just don't have it. You know, I, I honestly think this company should be bought out, my personal opinion. I think they should be bought out, but I mean, what's the point of buying out this company? You know, they have no successful CRISPR program. I mean, I guess at that point, you're just buying out the IP and I guess the personnel, the remaining personnel that you have, right? But then you're, uh, you're hiring, you're increasing your expenses, your operating income, operating expenses, sorry. So, I don't know. I, I'll, be, I'll be honest with you, I think this company is deep trouble. I really don't think there's a way out for this company. Uh, I think this recession is going to weed out certain companies in the genomic space, and I really think in the CRISPR landscape, Aditas would be the one going out alongside with Braffat Bio, my opinion, but hey, who... Who knows, you know, we've always heard of comeback stories. Maybe this is going to be one to look out for. So thank you so much for guys for watching. Subscribe if you're not. Like this video if you haven't. And let me know if you've ever dropped your keys in the gap hole of the elevator in the comments below. I'm really, really curious. It's really interesting. I, I still can't believe it. I'll see you guys during the week. Have a beautiful Sunday, guys. Thank you.